let us start a discussion of a very important device in the syllabus of class 12 that is cyclotron it is also known as particle accelerator means used to accelerate charged particle or ions to high energy cyclotron is invented by leo lawrence and ms livingston in 1934 to investigate nuclear structure and for this uh, they got a Nobel Prize in Physics. First uh, we will discuss uh, its uh, principle. As uh, the principle behind uh, the working of this device is the frequency of revolution of charged particles in a magnetic field is independent of its energy, speed or radius or in other way you can say when a charged particle is moved again and again in a high frequency electric and a strong magnetic field it get accelerated to a high energy. See its construction it consists of Two D shipped hollow metallic semiconductor. Here you can see this D, it is 1D, and other is here. These two semi cylindrical hollow chambers are enclosed in evacuated steel box. Here, a positively charged ions. And magnetic field it is the high frequency oscillator now we will see it's working before that we have to see its construction see the diagram once again see when a charged particle we have seen they acquire a circular path first imagine d1 is positive and d2 is negative the positively charged particle kept at the center and in the gap between the d's get accelerated towards d2 why they get accelerated because in the magnetic field they experiences a magnetic force due to perpendicular magnetic field and according to Fleming's left hand rule the charge gets deflected and described semi circular path when it is about to leave D2 the oscillators frequency changes in such a way that polarity changes so d2 becomes positive and d1 becomes negative therefore particle again accelerated because it is a positive charge so d2 if positive charge then the, this will positive charge will experience a force due to electric field so it attracted towards the negative plate this process continued till the charge travels through the whole space in the D's and finally it comes out with very high speed through the window. Now, if M and Q be the mass and charge of the particle to be accelerated, the magnetic force experienced by charge provides centripetal force required to describe circular path. Earlier also we have seen if a charge particle moves perpendicular to the magnetic field that takes a circular path. So a centripetal force and that centripetal force is provided by magnetic force. So here we can see mv square by r centripetal force equal to magnetic force that is q v psi 90 where why it is the psi 90 because in the magnetic field v 
is perpendicular so v equal to q b r by m or r equal to m b by q if t is the time taken by the child to describe the semicircular path inside the t then what is the time equal to that is the distance by speed so that will pi r by v or t equal to we can say pi m by v q here substitute the value of r what will be pi by v into m v by q v so v and v got cancelled it will be pi m by v into q so time taken inside the d depends only on the magnetic field and the ratio mass to charge it doesn't depend on the speed of the charge or radius of the path so it, it this one is its principle now the time period time taken in one rotation so that will be t equal to 2 pi r by v and this will be if we substitute again the value of here it is the r then it will be 2 pi m by q v so the linear frequency will be reciprocal of time period and that is q v by 2 pi m we know the angular frequency which is 2 pi nu or 2 pi by t its value will be q v by m now the cyclotron works when the frequency of applied potential difference means the oscillator's frequency is matched with the frequency of revolving charge particle this condition is resonance so frequency of cyclotron that is reciprocal of time period so it will be qv by 2 pi what should be the maximum velocity attained by the charge particle when charge particle comes out of these that time radius is maximum so velocity will be maximum and that uh, ma velocity, maximum velocity will be q v r by m now the kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy that will be half mass into velocity maximum so that value will be 1 by 2 m q v r by m square so Finally, we will get Q square, B square, R square by 2. The use of cyclotron. Cyclotron is used to bombard nuclei with energetic particle of for nuclear reaction. It is used to implant ions into solid to modify their properties, to synthesize new materials, to produce radioactive substance which is can be used for diagnosis and treatment of patients in hospital. Cyclotron having certain limitations. It cannot be used to accelerate neutral particle that is q equal to zero. Also it cannot accelerate electrons due to smaller mass. And if mass is small, it acquires very high energy and then becomes out of phase of the oscillating field. And when it becomes out of phase, it loses energy. Only it can be used to accelerate positively charged particles like protons, alpha particles, deuterons, etc. Here, three questions for your practice how we can see the pattern of the question from this part is its a principle working in a different way so whatever the question we must remember here that is centripetal force is equal to magnetic force means mv square by r equal to qv and then just simplify you will find the result of r thank you next 
we will discuss another very important that is Bayat's Sabarth law. After that, two application of Bayat's Sabarth law for the straight current carrying conductor and another magnetic field on the axis of a circular loop. And every year, one question from Bayat's Sabarth law so that we will see in the next. Thank you.